everyone welcome to my channel in this tutorial I'm going to show you the very easy way to make hologram animation effect in Crypt Studio you can apply it to your cyberpunk team artwork or animation don't worry if you are not get used to animation feature you can follow this tutorial step by step or check the text version in the video description let's start with the preparation we need to make two files in this project the hologram and the main image the main image is not animated, while the hologram is with some animation like it's a video log. The movement for the video log is simple, just some lip sync and eye blink. Create the new timeline by clicking on the new timeline icon. I like to use 8 frames per second for animated illustrator because for me it's easier to handle because it has only few frames per second. If you use X version, you can increase the playback time by right click on the timeline and insert frame. Create the new animation folder. If you already have the sketch for the first frame, drag it into the animation folder. To make it show on the canvas, right click and select the keyframe you want. You can copy the keyframe by drag it to the new layer icon on layer panel and right click on the timeline to make it show at the time you want. Edit the lips to make him speak. There you will have the basic talking animation look. I create new vector layer for the ink. Bring the layer outside the animation folder to make it appear on all frame. Then I put the ink in animation keyframe. Drag the layer to new folder icon to put the keyframe in folder. Then you can copy the ink and put the layer inside the folder. To make more natural face expression, you can simply edit the vector layer using the pinch tool to edit the jaw position. Check my past tutorial for more detail about using vector with animation keyframe. The link is in the video description. I put the color inside the keyframe folder and also copy it for another frame. It's very good for time saving. To make the simple blink animation, right click on the timeline and set the last display frame. Copy the bar by right click on the header and copy. Then pass it to any timeline point you want. Save the file in Clip Studio format and the hologram object is ready. The very simple way to turn the layer into light effect is just changing the layer bending mode to add glow. This layer mode also makes the transparent effect with the background. Combine the hologram and the background together in new file so we don't have to confuse with layers. Create new file and import. Create file object. Bring both files on canvas and adjust the position. When apply the layer effect, it will look like the hologram instantly. You can make more transparent background by editing on the object file. Right click, file object, and open the file. Delete the paper layer and adjust opacity of the background color. Then save the file, it will appear instantly. To make it look more like hologram image, you may add some strip detail on the screen. Create new layer and draw a rectangle for the hologram area. Then in material panel, you can find the strip skin tone in monochrome folder. Drag it to the canvas. Then clip the hologram object to the strip. You can adjust the screen tone pattern in layer property panel. When you are happy with the result, Rasterize the layer and remove the layer mask. Create a selection on the rectangle layer, then right click on the screen tone layer and mask outside selection. Set the strip layer to glow mode and the hologram object to normal mode 
to apply the light effect. You can also add the light by creeping mask with the color layer. To make it look more dimensional, group the layer together in one folder. The layer effect will disappear, set the layer mode to true. Apply the mask to strip layer before transform. Then, select the layer folder and make free transform. Share is a bit to give some three-dimensional look. And here's the result. To prepare for the animation, you must create the new timeline with the same framelet as the hologram object. Add more frame to match the hologram object. For the light effect, it's about opacity changing by the time. Click on the folder, enable the layer keyframe, and adjust the opacity. You can click the plus icon to see the timeline for opacity changing. Vary the opacity on the keyframe, and you will get the very easy hologram light effect. There is two types of glitch we always see, color glitch and the distorted glitch. The color glitch is with cyan and magenta. I will use layer color effect for making this type of glitch. Copy the layer folder and disable the layer keyframe. Delete the filter layer and apply layer color on the hologram object. Repeat the step on magenta layer. Set the color to layer level to avoid confusion. On the timeline, enable the layer keyframe of color glitch folder. You can also see the timeline is still with the keyframe from original folder. We don't want it here. Right click and delete all keyframe. On the timeline, set the short appearance for the glitch. Right click and set the first and the last display frame. Now you can see the glitch will only appear in flash. You can move the glitch position by select the folder and move it with move tool. If you want the glitch to appear on other point, you can repeat the step. And also able to move the layer. With a separate timeline area, the keyframe will not synchronize with another one in another bar. You can adjust the position freely from each other. If you want to adjust the position of original layer too, create the keyframe at the glitch position and move the object only at the middle point. This will make the glitch movement for the original object. And here is the result. For the distort glitch, we make it show like color glitch. But on the original hologram, we use the split clip and delete the middle area. In the glitch folder, we copy our layer to another set. Make free transform of these three layers will allow them to move together. Then use the polyline selection to select on the strip layer and delete some area to make the glitch. If you want more glitch, just repeat the step. Now you get the very easy hologram effect. I also made some detail to add the story to the image. Vary the opacity to make it look like monitor light. Also add shadow to the object on multiply layer and highlight on glow layer. On the highlight, enable the layer keyframe and vary the opacity related to the hologram light. Add more light on the background for more detailed look. You can also apply more light on hologram with the glow layer and airbrush.
And here is the result. I hope this tutorial gives you some idea to add something cool in your artwork. I also created a Discord channel. If you want to ask me something about Clip Studio, I will be happy to help you. Have fun animating!